Welcome to Machakos University. Machakos University is located in Machakos County in Machakos Town. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate all of you for having been selected to join the university and in particular in the School of Engineering and Technology. Feel so much welcome and I believe that at this point you are coming in as a student but by the end at the end of the course you will come out of this place successively as a graduate engineer or as a trained information technology expert Machakos University School of Engineering and Technology is located within the Machakos University compound when you enter the main gate you turn on your left then you walk past the car park on your right you'll be able to see the office of the deputy vice chancellor in charge of academics and student affairs then you move on and on your left you'll be able to see the office of the deputy vice chancellor in charge of research innovation and leakages so you just move on and you turn slightly on the left then at this point you'll be able to locate a building called electrical and electronics engineering then on your left you'll be able to see the engineering block and that is the block you move on then you'll be able to locate the dean's office on the ground floor and the departmental offices are on the third floor that is the entrance of the building and at the ground floor you turn to your right if you want to go to the dean's office if you want to go to the departmental offices you can use the staircases on the left or you can use the ramp the school is endowed with well equipped laboratories with modern engineering equipment very spacious laboratory and very well trained technicians who will be able to guide through to guide you through when you'll be conducting the experiments and the school has all the equipment that you need for your training these are some of the equipment that you'll be able to use the school is organized in terms of departments the school is made up of five departments and each department is headed by a chairman then the school is headed by the dean for every program there is a class representative elected by the students the class representative will represent the class for various issues be it the timetable or any other issue that the class may have the class representative will liaise with the chairman and the chairman will be able to solve any issue but if the issue cannot be solved at the department then the chairman will consult the dean and then the dean will consult with other offices so that the issue is addressed when you go to the department the chairman will be able to help you and to guide you to elect your class representative it is important that you have a class representative the dean of the school of engineering is dr charles mwaniki his telephone number is indicated and you can 
reach him also on email by writing an email through the email address provided. The Department of Building and Civil Engineering is headed by Engineer Marimu Musau. His contacts, telephone contacts are indicated and you could also write an email message using the email address provided. The Department of Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering is headed by Mr. Peter Moticia and Mr. Mi Peter Moticia's telephone number is indicated and also his email address. So you can choose to reach him through the telephone or through the email address. Mr. Duncan Kilungu is the chairman of Electrical and Electronics Engineering Department and if you have any inquiries that you want to make, you can reach him on the telephone number indicated there or you could write him an email address using the email address provided. Mr. Washington Woolwatch is the chairman of the Computing and Information Technology Department. You could reach him on the given telephone number or you could choose to write him an email message using the email address provided there. The departments have programs and electrical and electronics engineering has two programs, Bachelor of Science Electrical and Electronics Engineering and Bachelor of Science Telecommunication and Information Technology. Mechanical and Manufacturing Engineering has one program, Bachelor of Science in Mechanical Engineering. Likewise, Building and Civil Engineering has one program, Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Computing and Information Technology Department has two programs, Bachelor of Science Computer Science and Bachelor of Science Information Technology. The programs in the school are classified into two. There are those that go for five years, we call them five year programs, and there are those that go for four years, we call them four year programs. Bachelor of Science, Mechanical Engineering, Bachelor of Science, Civil Engineering, and Bachelor of Science, Electrical and Electronics, Electronics Engineering are five year programs, and they are regulated by Engineers Board of Kenya. Bachelor of Science Telecommunication and Information Technology, Bachelor of Science in Information Technology, and Bachelor of Science in Computer Science, these are four-year programs. A four-year program has 14 weeks per semester, while a five-year program has a 16-week semester. During your course, you will cover various milestones and these milestones are marked by end of semester examinations. Milestone 1.1 represent year 1 semester 1, 1 1.2 represent year 1 semester 2, 2.1 year 2 semester 1, 2.2 year 2 semester 2 and so on. At the end of every semester, you will sit for end of semester examinations in accordance with the university examination rules and policies. For every semester, you will be required to report to the university student management system. The system has been automated in such a way that you don't have to visit the university. You can report to the system using your mobile phone. After you report to the university management system, that is when you'll be able to pay all the required fees and on time. After paying all the fees on time, that is, you'll be allowed to register for the units for that particular semester. And these units are registered 
within a given timeline. If that timeline is, is if that timeline lapses, then you'll have only one choice of deferring the semester. So ensure that you register the units for that semester. And if you have any problem, you can visit the ICT directorate that will help you to register the units online. You are able to register the units from your mobile phone. But should you have any problem, you can also contact the department for assistance. After you register for the units, then you'll be expected to participate in all academics activities in the school and also in the department. Then you'll be expected to attend all the classes as scheduled and submitting all the assignments given within the set timeline. At the end of every semester, you'll be expected to sit for end of semester examinations and therefore you are required to prepare for the same and sit there and sit for all the examinations as, as scheduled and also in accordance with the university examination rules. In this journey of empowering your career you have a choice and the choice you make will determine your destiny you can choose to be a wheelbarrow you can choose to be a kite you can choose to be an aeroplane we all know how a wheelbarrow works how it moves it cannot move until it is pushed and after being pushed and left at a particular position it will remain in that position until it is pushed again you can choose to be a wheelbarrow or you can choose to be a kite a kite can fly but how high it flies, it is determined by someone else. It can fly too high, but it is pulled down. So its destiny is determined by someone else. Or you can choose to be an aeroplane that moves at a predetermined speed. It is able to withstand turbulence it has defined destination and it moves with timeline it is your choice but your choice will determine your destiny for more inquiries you can call the school administrator on telephone number provided or you can email a message using the email address provided Thank you so much and welcome.